Hey my lovelies, thank you for joining me today. I'm so happy you're here. Today's pick a card reading is their real feelings for you. We're gonna be finding out what is going on in your person's mind and how they feel about you. I'll look at the energies surrounding you both. But before we jump in, I wanna let you know that Arenum are offering a free five minute psychic reading to everyone for a limited time. And trust me when I say that those five minutes can be life changing. If you need guidance regarding your love connection or have questions about your specific person, then Arenum's amazing psychics are here to help you. Try Arenum today for free and get some insight into your life. Claiming your reading is super easy. Just sign up to Arenum using my link below, it's free, and then leave your Arenum username in the comments below this video. I know you love free stuff as much as I do, so check out Arenum today. Thank you to Arenum for making today's reading happen. Now let's take a look at the crystals. We've got group number one, the flower agate. Group number two, the star malachite. And group number three, the natural citrine point. Take as much time as you need to make your selection today. Pause the video if you need more time. Please know as well that I have a second channel called Galaxy of Lovers. Come and join us in our lovely community over at Galaxy of Lovers. The link is in the description below this video. I do channeled love readings for the collective four times a week over there. So do come and join us. Thank you for liking the video today as well. I really appreciate the energy exchange. When you are ready, your timestamp for each group is in the description below this video. Hit your timestamp and I will see you in a moment. Hey my lovelies, thank you for joining me today. I'm so happy you're here. This is for everyone who picked the flower agate and this card which says flourish. So this is so nice, flourishing and blossoming, um, raising your vibration and being very like moving from that energy of surviving to thriving. So a lot of expansion here, a lot of high vibrational energy. Let's take a look at some oracle cards before we jump into a tarot, find out how your person is feeling about you. We have nothing compares, right? You are the one for them, right? You tick all the boxes for them. What I'm hearing is there's something about your frequency or your particular kind of flavor, you know, the whole package of you, you know, your personality, the way that you see the world, the way that you look, which ticks all the boxes for this person. So they're aware that uh, regardless of what's going on in the situation, you get them, you can see them, right? That makes them feel very strongly bonded to you, okay? Oh my goodness, we get unexpected meeting. So you may cross paths when you least expect it, when you don't expect to see them, even if they're quite far away, or just that energy of like, you met them, excuse me, you met them at a time in your life when you least expected it, right? You weren't expect, you weren't looking for anything, you weren't looking for anyone, maybe you weren't dating or something like this, and you've sort of crossed paths in quite a serendipitous way. Or we get sensual cravings as well which I love, so this person really desiring you, finding you very attractive, finding you irresistible as well. And that spark of attraction, there you go. Falling in love. So the feelings are deepening here, they're developing, they're falling in love with you, the more they um, get to know you, the more they think about it, the more in love they are with you. We get fear of failure. I swear this card comes out pretty much every single time that I use this deck. So something a little bit of um, reticence from your person, uh, maybe afraid of asking you out, afraid of uh, not being good enough for you. They've maybe built you up in their mind a little bit, a little bit of insecurity, right? Is what I'm seeing. Yeah, look at that, I don't deserve you. Maybe you've given them several chances uh, you know, to make their move or just several chances in this situation. They know that you are a light worker. They know that you're a good person. They know that you have a good heart. You're emotionally intelligent. Okay, they feel a little bit lacking or a little bit less than in comparison. But we have this. This love is the real deal. I've never seen this before. Falling in love and this love is the real deal. 
this is confirmation from spirit that their feelings for you are genuine. Okay, whatever's going on in their emotional landscape, this is genuine feelings. This isn't somebody who's pretending. This isn't somebody who's um, trying to mess with you. Okay, so at the core of this is genuine emotion. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like you're soulmates with this person. I feel like you have a strong spiritual connection with them. It's what I'm seeing right now. I feel like you were together in a past life. I feel like you have a very strong familiarity with this person, right? You feel like you already know them. You feel really seen by them, right? They feel seen by you. They feel rejected by you. Right now, or defeated by something. Your person is really struggling. They get, what I'm hearing is they're giving themselves a hard time, right, in their mind. And this may be called for or it may be completely unnecessary that they're doing this. That's what I'm seeing here. They're giving themselves a really hard time. If you've rejected this person, if you've like drawn a boundary and they've perceived it as a rejection or you've just said, look, this isn't what I want, this isn't good enough, the way that you're behaving... They're fully aware of that. They feel like, um, what do I want to say? It's like, like taken down a peg. Okay, I feel like you have expressed something to them or mirrored something to them about themselves, which they didn't realize, right? Something about their actions or their behavior or their personality that they weren't aware of and you have made them aware of it and it's made them feel... Uh, a lot of uncomfortable emotion. It's made them feel like they're kind of struggling. Maybe they, there's been like, what, excuse me, what I'm hearing is it's, it's like hurt their ego a little bit. I don't think they're like overly invested in their ego or they've got a massive ego or anything like that, but everybody has an ego and I feel like it's hurt their ego. It's what I'm seeing. If that doesn't resonate with you, the message that they're giving me is that you... Um, they may have dismissed this person or rejected this person or they feel like they, they can't do it, they don't have the confidence, something like this. Um, and there, there's regret around that. They regret that. Sorry, I just had to take a moment to adjust the lighting. It, there's a storm coming over and it's just suddenly gone really, really dark. Really dark, let's see. Oh my goodness, your person wants to make amends. They want to make like reparations. They may want to apologize to you. This person, if you're apart, they really miss you, okay? Uh, or if you've kind of never really got together or it's never really got off the ground, this is something that they feel very keenly, right? That they want to rectify. They don't want to be without you is what I'm saying. This is someone who wants to be with you. This is somebody who like either... Uh, feels your absence or doesn't like it that you're kind of not together they want to be closer to you okay and it may be the case that they want to apologize to you or they want to make it up to you or they want to um, harmonize things with you right I feel like your person is hurting in some way there's some sort of disappointment and they know that they're going to have to have a conversation with you or they want to be near you in order they want to feel good with you, right, is what I'm saying. They want to be near you. They know that they're going to have to talk to you in order to sort this out. So I feel like they're going to be making a move to come towards you. This is what they're thinking about. They feel very drawn to do that. It feels very natural for them to do that. If things have gone a little bit off the rails here, this makes them feel very uncomfortable. They don't like it. You know, if, you, if you're not talking or they don't have access to you or they've missed a chance to talk to you, this is really heavily on their mind. They're sort of really overthinking this. And it's something that they feel emotionally as well. They want to come towards you. Let's see. They see you as like unreachable in some way. That's what I'm seeing. 
There's something, let's see, you've got Scorpio energy, Gemini energy, Virgo energy. That may resonate with you right now. They see you as like unreachable. Maybe they don't know how to get in touch with you. They don't know how to access you. Maybe you've blocked them, something like this. They feel like you've been very quiet. Maybe they thought you'd chase them or that you would fix this or you'd be the one to make the first move or that you would make a move, right? And I feel like it's not in your nature. You're not going to do that. You're just, you let people show you who they are is what I'm seeing right now. They know that you can run rings around them as well in some respect. I think there's something here where you've really shown them who you are, right? That you are maybe not to be messed with or that you take this seriously or you respect yourself, okay? So they know that they need to come correctly. They need to come to you like respectfully and with a plan. You want them to fight for this connection. You want them to fight for you is what I'm seeing. It feels like you are um, feeling like a little bit anxious or a little bit insecure. Maybe you're thinking I haven't heard from them. Maybe they don't like me. Maybe they don't like me anymore. Something like this. That may make you like be a little bit defiant in some way, a bit like, oh, I never cared about them anyway, but you know that that's not true, right? You know that's not true. So you may have, you may feel like the way that they're behaving, right? If they haven't stepped up, if they haven't made a move, if they've treated you like in a way that's a little bit disrespectful, right? That that is a reflection on you, right? The way, you know, their level of value for you or how they value you is a reflection on you and you need to realize that it isn't. I see you in this energy as well of just like some days you're a little bit frustrated with this person or a little bit angry and other days, um, hey, my camera gave up. So I don't know where we got to. So I'm gonna do a little recap for you. Uh, I'm sorry if it looks a bit disjointed um, or there's a little bit of a jump in the video, but um, yeah, so, I feel like there's this energy where you feel a little bit insecure, you feel like the way that they've been behaving towards you um, is like, uh, like you're blaming yourself in some way, like you could have done things differently. I feel like sometimes you're quite angry with this person, right, a little, little bit. I feel like you're on the defensive right now. When it comes to this person, like you've detached a little bit is what I'm seeing. I feel like some days you, you feel a little, little bit insecure, like maybe I did something wrong, maybe I wasn't good enough. And then other days there's this energy of um, defiance, like, oh, I never cared about them anyway, right? But I don't think that's true. Or like trying not to care so much, regardless of kind of where you are at on the uh, relationship timeline, you know, maybe uh, it's someone that you've been with and they haven't made a significant move, you know, you're just getting to know or somebody uh, that you're in more of a relationship with and you're just going through like a, a rocky patch right now. I think maybe you're worried that they're talking to other people as well. Or that somebody else is going to get your person. No, that's not possible. That's not possible. They're not open to other energies, right? That nothing compares energy. It feels like... It feels like you're the, like the first thing on their mind when they wake up, or just at the forefront of their mind, like wanting to sort this out, wanting to... Um, harmonizes. Right, so your angel numbers are 1331, which is good fortune. Look out for that, or the number 13 or 31. Advice, comfort, major changes, individuality. And you get this one, 0000. This is limitless potential. 
So it's that kind of void energy of kind of not really knowing what's going on, but this beautiful space for creating something very positive between you and this person. It says a reset as well. So that's interesting. I feel like you're putting yourself first. You've been learning how to put yourself first. They're afraid that they're not going to get a good reception, right? If they come towards you, they feel that this, that if you've been silent or you've been a little bit quiet um, or you've not been giving them a lot to go on or you didn't chase them, that this means that you're not interested in them. This is that ego that we were talking about, right? The way that you've maintained your poise and held your own in this situation by not chasing, by not making the first move, right? They feel like you're not interested or they feel like you might reject them or that you might be kind of um, harsh in some way. Like you you have the, the power to do that. You know, like if you dismiss them or you reject them or um, you give them some home truths about their behavior, they find it very cutting. They find it um, like a real struggle to deal with emotionally is what I'm seeing. There's this willingness for them to try harder here is what I'm seeing. To want to learn from their mistakes is what I'm hearing. I see them coming towards you, overcoming any resistance coming towards you. Uh, like quite spontaneously is what I'm seeing. Very enthusiastically, like coming on strong is what I'm seeing right now. Like them feeling inspired to do that, coming on strong with you, wanting to come towards you. Oh, they want to talk to you about something. They've had a realization. This, whatever's going on with you, the energy here is weird. You tell me. But whatever has happened, maybe it's just time apart, maybe it's something you said. Maybe didn't you know? Maybe it wasn't even direct, or you didn't even mean to call them out on their BS, right? But they have had a realization, right? They have had a really potent realization as a result of this, as a result of this ego death, or as a result of um, their ego being wounded, or as a result of this new understanding about themselves. That they see where they can make improvements is what I'm hearing. They see where they can do things differently. Um, so I see them coming towards you wanting to say, I, I understand you or I understand what you're saying or um, I've realized this. You know, maybe that I've realized that you're the one for me or I've realized how good we are together. Let's see. Yeah, they realize that they love you. That's it, that no one else compares, that no one else will do, that no one else is for me, right? That we're meant to be together. Maybe they thought that you could just be colleagues or just be friends or that you didn't mean that much to them or that they could live without you. They were so wrong, <laughs> so wrong about that. If you've had any time apart, even if it's just a day or they haven't seen you around, they miss you like crazy. That's what I'm seeing. They're coming towards you with some, some sort of offer of commitment, like saying, I claim you, or I want us to be together, or I want us to be in a relationship, or I want to commit to you, or I want us to be um, exclusive with one another. They may even ask you to marry them. That could be on the cards as well. So Pisces energy showing up here, Aquarius energy, Taurus energy as well. Those are your messages today. Remember to claim your free reading over at Arenum. I know you love free stuff, so do check that out, especially um, at the moment. So all the details of how to claim your free psychic reading with Arenum are in the description box. And also come and join us on my second channel, Galaxy of Lovers. If you want to claim the energies in this reading, drop a heart down in the comments as well. Thank you for being here with me today. I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Hey my lovelies, thank you for joining me. I'm so happy you're here. This is your reading if you pick group number two and the Malachite star. 
And then this beautiful card as well, which says transformation. So this is really nice. Maybe your connection is transforming and evolving. I feel like that is a reflection of the changes that you've made within yourself over the last year. It says uh, surrender to transformation. Everything that's happening in your life is happening for your highest good. The best is yet to come. So I love that for you. Let's grab some Oracle cards and then we'll look at your tarot. Let's see what's going on. Shine. Oh my goodness. You have like a very high vibration, right? Maybe you've been specifically working on your vibration. Maybe you've been uh, learning to feel into the difference of high, vib <laughs> excuse me, high vibrational and low vibrational uh, things and people and situations right now. There's something about you shining your light. It could just be that you're a chosen one or you're a light worker, which is very triggering, right? And I sense it is triggering for many people sometimes if you find that someone takes an instant dislike to you or they want to try and cause trouble for you or something like this. If you've experienced that in your life, that is um, because of your uh, high frequency vibration because energetically there's nowhere for people to hide when they're illuminated in that way. They can't hide their shadow self. It all comes to the surface. So you're, there's something about you where your person is drawn to you, they're attracted to you, right? They love to be around you, they love to flirt with you, but at the same time, they feel some level of discomfort. They don't understand it, they don't know why, but they do. Um, and this is because it's just triggering them. Giving money. So somebody may be, um, find it important to support charities, like there's somebody may be very generous. You also have always partying. So somebody likes to have a good time, maybe you like to have a good time together, right? With this person, champagne lifestyle, drinking champagne, living it up, living the good life, luxury, things like this. I see like an energy of abundance. Maybe somebody in this connection is uh, very financially stable or working towards it or... Something like this. Let's see. A roll of the dice. Somebody's weighing up the pros and cons in this connection right now, uh, is what I'm seeing. Also, there's an energy of like just leaving it to fate and just seeing what happens, like not wanting to take responsibility for things, just saying, well, let's just see, you know, if it works out, it works out. If we're meant to be together, then it will, it will work out. That sort of energy, right? So, we have mastering the self. This is about achieving balance, right? Finding balance between you, like trying to harmonize things because it says the yin and yang, the light and the dark, right? So trying to harmonize that, all that light that you bring to life, to other people, to this person, right? Attracting you. Somebody in this connection, you know, they may be drawn to your light, to your magnetism, magnetically drawn to you. That's an energy of like witchcraft and spell work as well. So somebody could be doing spells. It's an energy of like seduction, right? Being magnetic, being seductive. Let's see what else we have before we jump into your tarot. Thinking of you. So you're, this person is thinking about you right now. You're thinking about them, but they're also thinking about you. You've got that strong psychic connection between you. Finding solutions. I love this. So they do feel a little bit uncomfortable in your presence, a little bit um, because of the light that you shine. But whatever the difficulty is between you, I see um, this very positive energy of like being able to understand each other better, being able to talk about it, finding a solution to this situation as you evolve and change that transformation that we were talking about at the beginning. You may be a psychic, you may be a tarot reader yourself, um, is what I'm seeing right now. They find you very uh, mysterious, right? Part of your allure, part of that magnetism is like a mystery. You know, maybe you're not an open book, maybe you only open up to certain people, or when you know that you can trust somebody, or when you feel comfortable. 
right? Some people are always looking for attention or always looking for somebody to listen to them. I feel like you're more poised than that, that you are more uh, self-aware than that, right? So this person wants to know what's going on with you. They want to uh, know what makes you tick. Definitely a strong energy that you've got a strong psychic connection with this person, is what I'm saying. Your soulmates with this person, I feel like this connection is based on like, uh, like a lot of emotional intelligence, maybe based on friendship as well. I'm, I'm hearing like shared ideals, right? Maybe um, you're both really passionate about a certain cause or, you know, saving the planet or climate change or um, animal rescue or um you know people in need something like that and you have that in common you both agree that it's important um is what they're saying interesting energies i feel like your person may be very intellectual they may um or be intelligent they may be a teacher in some regard i feel like they want to do the right thing they want to be sensible they do um care about you and respect you very deeply, right? And there's something here where your person's trying to navigate what the right thing to do is or what the right thing to say is. Like it's very, they're very careful with their words. They may be very um, good at speaking, right? They may be a public speaker or they may uh, be very good at articulating um, abstract ideas, right? Or they may teach or write for a living. So expressing ideas through words um, is what I'm seeing. That emotional intelligence leads them to be able to express their feelings. They are able to do that, to express their feelings uh, through conversation, through words, through discussion, through just saying things out loud. There's an energy, though, of like detachment. Right now, they may feel like something else is more important than this connection. They may not be prioritizing you. They may have like be suppressing their feelings, like taking a step back from it because they feel like it isn't a good idea for some reason or they need to recalibrate. We'll take a look at that. They're surprised by the depth of their feeling for you, right? Maybe they weren't looking for anything. They weren't in the market for anything, right? Is what I'm seeing. There's a lot of flirtation here as well. Maybe they have like quite a cold exterior, but a warm heart. Uh, and you see that with them. Okay, maybe they're quite um, sensible or serious in some respect or very serious about politics or something like this. But you've seen that they've got a very warm heart beneath that, right? I think you're the same in that regard is what I'm hearing in, in, the, in the respect that... I've just seen a white feather float down. Really lovely. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, no. <laughs> that was a mistake. I got distracted. Uh, in the respect that you both take, you know, you both don't open up to people unless you feel like you trust them or unless a bond has been established, right? You're not like attention seekers, but you are both very deep, deep thinkers, deep feelers. It feels like you have that in common. There may be an energy of like infatuation. You may feel like this person is forbidden fruit. That energy of them wanting to do the right thing, right? Maybe because there's a third party, not necessarily. Maybe they're already in a commitment. It's just an example. It's not necessarily what's happening or just that maybe it isn't a good idea because you work together or because you're from uh, totally different religions or something like this. And yet you feel really drawn to them and you're just like, I feel drawn to you, but I know that I shouldn't or because you've agreed to be friends or because you're colleagues, right? Like it would make it messy or it would make it difficult. This person makes you weak at the knees though, right? I feel like you love looking at them, you love 
flirting with them, you love being around them, you love experiencing their energy, you feel very drawn to this person and you may be trying to make sense of it. Like, why do I feel so strongly about this person in comparison to everybody else? This person really like sticks out like a sore thumb, right? They stand out from the crowd for you. And you may be trying to understand that. Interesting. There's something about them. Maybe you're trying to get their attention, right? You're trying to give, you know, you're trying to give the hints of like, I'm interested in you. Are you interested in me? Um, there's like a strong sexual chemistry here that I'm seeing. Scorpio energy, Pisces energy, Aquarius energy, a lot of Pisces, Capricorn, Sagittarius, right? I see you like maybe like wanting to be noticed by them or wanting to get their attention or wanting them to see you in a particular light, like is what I'm seeing. It's something about this connection that you feel is impossible to ignore. What I'm seeing on your side is that you feel very strongly about this person like maybe infatuated or just maybe overcome with desire or like really, really ungrounded when you're around them. Like you just can't help yourself. That's the energy. I want to get an angel number for you. Let's see. Shall we do that? Yes. Let's see. 0110, so the number 11 or 2 maybe a sign for you or just... Sorry, let's get it. There you go. So this is belief systems. Go after what you want. Destiny, inspiration, appreciation, gifts. Maybe you feel very appreciated by this person. Like they appreciate your aura, the way that you look, the way that you show up. You get two, 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 triple two on the bottom of the deck. Look out for that. That's about alignment, being in right alignment, connections, friendship, romantic relationships, balance, excuse me, trust, commitment. Those are your numbers. Let's get a message as well. I'm sorry, my chair is so creaky. I've, I'm sitting on the creaky chair and it's just no good. <laughs> it's just no good. I'm going to have to swap it over. Uh, yeah, I'm playing my cards close to my chest. I see that from your person. Your person has developed feelings for you, okay? Definitely friendship, definitely uh, respect and regard. But I feel like these are romantic feelings that this person has. They may be trying to hide them. They may be trying to distance themselves from them. Or they may be playing it cool, okay? I'm playing my cards close to my chest. You make me feel amazing. I see that here. They love being around you. They love to experience uh, your light that we were talking about, your energy. And we have, I feel like I'm going crazy. I feel like it's a bit unclear, right, between you as like maybe nobody's saying anything or maybe nobody's being, I'm going to grab this deck actually, nobody's being like explicit in their feelings. Okay. I feel like this is there's some sort of pressure here or that it's like a pressure cooker like so just like all gonna come out all in one go like all the feelings and the thoughts there's such a strong energy that you're both holding back in different ways trying to be measured but it's not how you feel like it's a bit of a mask it's just um, a pretense feels like this isn't like fully out in the open or fully realized or fully expressed. So maybe it's a flirtation, maybe it's a crush, right? I think you love listening to this person, the way that they talk about things, you know, things that they're interested in as well, that you're able to share a lot in that respect. You may be younger than this person. They may feel like you're too young. Not necessarily, it's just a message for some of you. Interesting. Your person has noticed you is what I wanna say. They feel like you don't need them, right? Maybe you're quite independent or they feel like you don't need them or that you 
you're not in the market for anything serious. They see you as like an earth angel, that you carry a lot of angelic light with you. That's what I'm seeing. They see you as like a healer, somebody who's very gentle. There's something about this where they're reticent to kind of go for it and you're just like, just go for it. Just go for it. Like they're being very, like a little bit slow to come to any realizations or to make a move. That's what I'm seeing. Or they're being very measured. I see you both just being very measured, but it's not how you feel, right? So I see your behavior being very measured, but it's not how you feel. I feel like this person is driving you crazy a little bit. Honestly, I feel like you feel a little bit more strongly towards them or they don't realize that you're into them, right? To the extent that you are. I think you're doing a good job of hiding it, right? They definitely see you as someone who's lovely to be around. They really love your energy. That's what I'm seeing. This person's very serious. Very, they take things very seriously. They take their friendships very seriously. They take other people's feelings very seriously. I think this is lovely. Sagittarius energy, Virgo, Libra. Feels like they've got a lot of responsibilities. That's what I'm seeing, all that this is a very responsible person. It feels like they've got a decision to make. in this connection. The definite, you definitely trigger their shadow self is what I'm seeing as well, like some sort of shadow, some sort of aspect of themselves that they feel um, insecure about, like their insecurities or something that maybe they feel ashamed of, something like this. Let's see. I feel like you may work together with this person. You may be their student or um, they may be superior to you in an organization in some way. I feel like they don't, they don't realize the depth of your feelings or like that you're crazy about them. But they do love being around you. I see them deepening their commitment to you, like putting more investment into this. I see you spending more time together with this person. I feel they get jealous. This is the thing that is going to bring this into more clarity for you, right? Or for them, excuse me, is when they see you talking to somebody else, right? Maybe they see you flirting with somebody else, or they know that you've been on a date with somebody else, or they um, just see you talking to somebody quite innocently, right? I see you spending quality time together, right? Or just some time together, maybe working on something, right? Doing some uh, volunteering together or working on a work project together or something like this. I see you spending time together in a, like a non-romantic way, I want to say, or like getting something done. But I see in your future you talking to somebody else and it's completely unintentional. It isn't to be manipulative, anything like this. And them getting very jealous about that. And that is what makes them see you in a new light, right? Either in the light of like, oh yes, we're not just friends, we're more than friends. Or actually, you know, I thought this was just a bit of fun, but I see the long-term potential. I see what an amazing partner you would make or what an amazing person you are in my life, right? It's like that instance elevates, excuse me, I'm losing my voice, elevates you in their eyes, right? And all of a sudden they see your value. All of a sudden they see you as golden. Those are your messages today. Thank you for being here with me. Remember to drop a heart down in the comments to claim the energies in this reading. Let me know how it resonates and also claim your free reading over at Arenum. I know you love free stuff as much as I do, so do head over to Arenum. 
check them out. You can sign up and get a five minute reading absolutely for free with this psychic of your choice to have your personal questions answered. Details are in the description, but I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Hey, my lovelies, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number three and the citrine, natural citrine point. So lovely. And then this gorgeous card as well. It says moon energy, surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this energy comes to calm your emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. So the full moon may be significant to you. That may um, bring a significant change to you is what I'm saying. Rainbows may be a sign for you as well. feels like things are... Um, maybe someone's really in the emotion ocean right now. There's a lot of emotional confusion uh, between like your between each other, but also your own emotional process, like what's going on with them, what's going on with you. I'm hearing secrets as well. There may be some secrets here. Let's see. Let's look at your oracle cards. Love triangle coming out. So a third party energy here. Uh, maybe... Um, this could just be like friends in common, something like this, or there could be a karmic partner here, or just like a choice to make in dating, take it how it resonates, of course, as always. We have love on the mind, fantasizing and daydreaming right now, so them really thinking about you, getting caught in a reverie, finding themselves like you know, daydreaming about talking to you, about being with you. Oh my goodness, you get fake accounts as well. So maybe spying on you, right, through somebody else's social media account, just so they can keep an eye on you, so that they can look and find out what's going on with you without you knowing. That's what I'm seeing right now. It could be those that secret energy. We have the solo path. Someone in this connection may be more of a lone wolf or an introvert. That's what I'm seeing. Or kind of reluctant to get into uh, a connection. We have drowning in the pain as well. Somebody may be drinking or they may be like distracting themselves from their own emotions right now because they're feeling so overwhelmed like a coping mechanism is what i'm seeing softening your heart so something about maybe giving this person another chance feathers may be a sign for you something about like showing vulnerability as well like being vulnerable in this situation, in this connection, yeah, we have more than meets the eye, that secrets or that secretive energy, that moon energy where things are changeable, where things aren't really clear, right? This could be a secret love. This could be like, you've got like a strong psychic connection with this person. This could like, this connection could really feel quite otherworldly in some way. Very ungrounding is what I'm sensing. Crossing oceans. So this is just an energy of like distance between you, right? It could be a long distance connection, but this is also about like an energy of putting in effort, right? Going the distance, putting in effort, making. Let's look at your tarot making a big effort to kind of make something happen or to overcome an obstacle. That's what I'm seeing. Someone may be well-traveled as well. Feels like somebody in this connection may be like a little bit unconventional, maybe swims against the current, has different opinions to things, maybe expresses themselves differently, looks different, you know, a different, um, different look or a different appearance, different... Um, uh, self-expression and the way that they dress, something like this. They're happy to do that. They may have a different sort of career to the mainstream. That's what I'm saying. Let's see what's going on. This is like, I'm hearing something that changes everything. <clears throat> this first person, like maybe 
has traveled a lot or is an explorer or is an entrepreneur, really wants to um, think outside the box, do things differently, doesn't want to be like other people, um, is what I'm sensing right now. Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. Strong energies here. This person has like a very um, strong imprint, like a strong energy imprint, a strong personality maybe. What I'm seeing right now, this person is always like chasing new excitement, new ideas. Um, they may have ADHD, not necessarily. Um, sorry, it was just a funny message. Sometimes when the messages come come through, it's just like the way they deliver it makes me laugh. Um, not the actual message itself. It feels like. This person has stopped you in your tracks or they've you've stopped them in their tracks is what I'm seeing as well. <clears throat> this person is jealous. They're experiencing some jealousy here. Mm. Perhaps of like how you express yourself. There's something, maybe you're very different, okay, or you're very successful. There's something that you've got that they're actually secretly jealous of that they want. Okay, so it could be that they they have this desire within them to always kind of be chasing new things and you are a lot more uh, grounded or you found your thing. That's what I'm hearing of just like, yeah, you know which direction you're going in or you know what's important to you or um, you're able to commit to things and take the steps that it takes, even though sometimes it's arduous or it's boring, right? To kind of get to your goals, to get to your dreams, to... Um, to do what it takes. There's something about that, maybe not jealous, maybe they're just sort of envious of that. That's what I'm seeing. Or they're just straight up jealous of what it is that you've got going for you or what it is that you do. I don't think that necessarily impacts how they feel about you, but it's just something that they would never speak of it. But that's, it's a trigger for them, right? It's showing them something in them that perhaps uh, they would like or that is unexpressed or that they would like to develop, right? That's what I'm seeing here. I feel as well like this person likes to create dramas. That strong personality energy. They don't like, they need things to be quite high octane. They need things to be quite dramatic or quite intense. Otherwise they get bored, right? If this is your message, right? Otherwise, they get bored. So it may be that they they start little fights or they're sort of nagging you or um, they're being obtuse, they're being a little bit difficult. It's something that they need to work on. It's an unhealthy pattern is what I'm seeing. Your soulmates, you've got soulmate energy. This is why the connection between you is so strong. If you're apart, they want to reunite with you. They feel like you really get them, that you really understand them, that you can really see them. Like they go through life and a lot of people don't maybe connect with them or uh, only connect with them very superficially, right? They see you as somebody who is very grounded, um, who's very perceptive, who's very intuitive, and who, as somebody who... Um, I don't know, it's like you can take care of them or they feel safe with you is what I'm hearing. I feel like your soul family with this person as well. I feel like you've got a soul contract with them. There's something here. They act very confident. But there's a part of them that needs looking after. Like that they secretly want to be rescued. And maybe they see a little bit of that in you, right? That you could rescue them. You know, maybe you're a little bit more grounded than them or a little bit more realistic or a little bit more sensible, right? It's like they want to get up to your level. It feels like they've got you up on the pedestal, that they really... Um, admire you is what I'm hearing for what it is that you've done for what it is that you've overcome for what it is that you've achieved right they want to impress you as well 
right? Of just like, oh, you know, I've been to all these places or, you know, I can play this instrument or I'm a musician or I can, I've got all these skills. Strong energy that they want to impress you, that they want you to see them in a good light is what I'm seeing. You feel like you need to, yeah. There's an energy on your side of just like, you feel like you need to take care of this person. You see them as like wounded, right? And you're just like, oh, well maybe part of this is that, and it may be uh, like subconscious that you can offer them solace or listen to them or be someone that they can lean on. They feel needy. Right? On the face of it, they look very confident, very out there, very bold, right? But under the surface, they feel a little bit needy, like they're looking for somebody to um, take their pain away or to heal them or to um, make them feel better or to rescue them from their life. And I feel like a lot of this thing where they can't commit to anything or anyone or they don't... or they don't stick at things or they don't know what it is that they want or they feel dissatisfied. Um, it's because there's a wound that needs healing. Um, and it's like, so they keep running or they keep, they're running from the pain, they're running from that emotion. That's what I'm seeing. I feel like you're a light worker, a chosen one, that you have a natural healing energy. I feel like you love this person unconditionally unconditionally like no matter what it is that they do because you see the real them not the persona and they know that you can see the real them they spend a lot of time like curating this con persona of like being very cool right being that girl or that guy whatever the equivalent is right and it just doesn't fly with you you're just like you know I'm, you know i see what's going on here I see that you love this person, that you find them very lovable as well. <clears throat> you feel like this person is lost. That's what they're saying. I want to get an angel number for you. You may feel rejected by this person or like they've pushed you away in some respect. There's something here as well. Where you're very perceptive and psychic where you, f you recognize that their, their frequency is that they feel lost. Maybe they were abandoned in childhood or adopted or didn't have a stable home. And now there's something in their adult life where they feel lost. Triple four is your angel number, look out for that. That spirit talking to you about this connection, protection, change, rebellion, right? That being different energy that we were talking about Truth, character, love. 101, starting over. So that 11 or 2 may also be a sign for you. Intelligence, dynamics, making a difference, personal or spiritual development. I'm going to get a little message from them as well. Let's see. We have, I can't let you go. They're going to come into focus for us. Are we going to do it? Yeah, I can't let you go. So this person may have pushed you away, but they're still pulling on your energy strings. That's what I'm seeing right now. Oh my goodness, we have, I'm eaten up with jealousy. I think we talked about this. This person struggles with this. Right, it's because they don't know themselves very well. So they're always looking at other people and thinking, oh, maybe, you know, that you feel better than I do, right? That you are getting admiration or respect or validation from other people and I'm not getting it. And so therefore my needs won't be met. Right, that's what's behind the jealousy, if that makes sense to you. It's something that they struggle with in all areas of their life. And it's because they need to come home to themselves. <clears throat> I think that things are clearing up a little bit if things have been emotionally confusing. There's like a recognition from them that they need to dial it down and focus on one thing or just focus on one thing at a time. I think you're very good at that actually, that you focus on one thing at a time. You're like, right, I'm gonna get this done and then I'm gonna get this done, right? Maybe in terms of your broader goals or your life plan or just your daily tasks. And they know that in this way, 
they will find happiness or greater fulfillment. This is their spiritual lesson. It may be something that you've actually verbalized to them, that you've actually spoken about. Of just like you're never really going to achieve anything if you just if you're so scattered in your energy. I feel like there's an energy of them choosing you or dialing down and just being like, yeah, it's you that I want. Like we're good together is what I'm hearing. Like we can be really happy together. We can create something really good together. I feel like this person may have pushed you away due to their own fears or like not being uh, strong enough in themselves or not being um, confident enough in themselves to be vulnerable. You know, they go to great lengths to hide who they really are, but you've already seen who they really are. I think that they've taken a step back from this connection, even though they feel very strongly about you. Like, they've got strong emotions for you. It's like, um, if they have done that, if they've turned their back on this or turned away from you or taken a step back, they've hurt themselves in doing that. Or if you're just apart from one another. There's such a strong energy that your person needs to be more committed. They need to commit to things in their life in order to find happiness. This is something that they're learning. We've got uh, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Leo, Gemini, Aquarius very strongly. That may resonate with you. Yeah, I see you getting into alignment with this person, being able to build something on a solid foundation. I see them really kind of slaying their demons, being able to overcome some of this, these aspects that we've been talking about, their kind of shadow self. I feel like you've got a soul contract with this person though, to kind of have these experiences with them. Uh, like it's like such a strong energy of opposites attract in a way. But in doing so, you bring a lot of different energies to each other, right? And you're able to unlock a lot um, in each other for your expansion. That transformation that we were talking about in the beginning. Right now. I feel like maybe there's a bit of infatuation or obsession with one another. Maybe some limerence. Yeah, I feel like your person is like, I think your person has had some unhealthy ties, maybe to someone from their past, someone who had a hold over them, um, maybe a karmic partner, something like this, where they had unfinished business. I see them cutting that off, like once and for all is what they're saying, in order so that you can get into alignment with this person, you can be on the same page, you know, that's like a good foundation on which to kind of move forward and to build. Okay, those are all your messages today. Do drop a heart down in the comments to claim the energies in this reading. And remember to claim your free reading over at Arenum. I know you love free stuff. So do check out Arenum. You can connect to a five-star psychic there and they can answer your personal questions by connecting to your energy. Don't be in the dark any longer. Details are below, but I'm sending you so much love. Take care.